Hello, my name is Jens Peterson. I am the head of product management of Electrobit HPCOS products. And I'm Isaac Trevs, a senior product manager for Electrobit's HPCOS products. The automotive industry is transitioning into a new era dominated by software, significantly affecting vehicle design, production, and management. This transformation is forecast to boost OEM software-based revenue substantially, with a market value anticipated at $640 billion by 2031. Such a paradigm shift is indicative of immense benefits, including a notable increase in OEM productivity and market share. The true game changer lies in the adoption of open source software, fostering a new era of innovation, collaboration, and rapid development in automotive technology. Open source software is not just about technological advancement. It's about building a community around shared challenges and solutions. It offers automotive manufacturers the flexibility to customize, innovate, and rapidly adapt to changing market needs, all while reducing costs and fostering a culture of transparent development. But innovation doesn't compromise safety. Through open source software, the automotive industry will achieve swift innovation, flexibility, and lower costs. With EB Corbus Linux for safety applications, the challenges of using open source are solved, providing safety and ensuring the long-term support and maintenance of vehicle systems. This collaborative approach not only accelerates technological advancement, but also establishes a solid foundation for the secure and reliable operation of future vehicles. Today, we're going to show you how this works in real life. We have running here on an ECU, the actual software that you would find in the automobile itself. All the data is originating from this ECU and it's being shown on these displays. So on the left hand side, we actually show the video stream itself that's being generated on the box. In the normal configuration, you will see this particular video screen together with the telltales are being safety monitored here on the right hand side. We have a diagram that shows what's happening inside the ECU here. This box here, the S32G, reflects the contents of the ECU. You can see here both the high integrity safety partition, the low integrity partition that's generating the video feed that you see on the left hand side. It's being fed here to the PC for display and it's also being fed to the high integrity safety partition. The high integrity partition monitors the video feed for errors. That's its primary purpose. And if an error occurs, it will step in and shut down the system. This, the high integrity partition, is also monitored by a module called the supervisor here. It's also known as the OS safety monitor. If it detects a fault, it will also shut down the system. I will be demonstrating those two particular failure scenarios. We can induce them by pressing the buttons here on the left hand side and you will then see the signal path change on the right hand side and the system entering into an error state. So for the first scenario, I'm going to inject an error into the video stream. So the video stream generator here will generate an invalid image to the monitoring and this will then shut down the system because this up here, which is the monitor part, will change to a different icon. So we saw the icon change now to the red icon. And you can see here now that the video stream is being shown is now red, meaning it has an error in it. This will then cause a shutdown of the system and you can see the shutdown being reflected here on this particular display. For the second demonstration, we're back to the original configuration. Everything is running normally. Now, instead of causing an image error, we're going to actually inject an error directly into the operating system itself. Instead of corrupting the video stream, the error in the operating system will then be noticed by the supervisor and the supervisor will then trigger the same type of shutdown that we saw before. You can see the blue line reflects the error injection. The green arrow of the supervisor signal will turn off and the heartbeat signal then also shuts off and we go back into the failed state. Everything you have seen here is reality today. The solution has been recently assessed to comply with ISO 26262 ASLB, safety element out of context, and IEC 61508 SIL2 by TÜV Nord Systems. Contact us to get started with EB Corbos Linux for safety and see how this unique software can simplify your projects, both in automotive and other safety sensitive industries.